Running a social media management agency is very, very different to how you would run a Facebook or paid advertising agency. And because that's what most people teach about here on YouTube, I want to come in with a different perspective. I've built a 50k a month agency, not from paid advertising, but from content creation and social media management. And we've done it with really good margins as well. Plus, we have a really good retention rate with our clients. In fact, last month it was about 90%. So we're going to break down all the key components, what goes into this and what you need to know if you want to start a social media agency. And not just, you know, an agency that has a couple of clients, but at least a six figure agency. So, right, so let's break it down. There are roughly three areas to your business. You could break this down into 100 steps. We're just going to stick with three for simplicity sake. Number one, you've got outreach. Number two, you've got sales. And number three, you've got service delivery, which is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. But before we do, let me just touch on outreach and sales, because of course, to serve your clients, you have to have clients. And how you get clients is through your outreach and through your sales. So how does outreach differ for a social media management agency compared to a Facebook ads agency? I'm going to give you a few pointers to think about. So firstly, let's just imagine that we're using Instagram. Instagram to reach out to businesses to pitch them. If you are offering paid advertising, you're likely going to have to filter the people that you reach out to, to businesses that have maybe 10 or 20k followers, because you need to make sure that they have a good budget plus an existing customer base to be able to run ads effectively to their audience. If they have no followers and no customers, your job is going to be a lot harder. So most people I know who work with paid advertising will only work with a business if they're already making at least maybe 20 or 30k a month in revenue. Now, when you're offering social media management, you can essentially offer this to anyone. So in your outreach process, you don't really have to filter down by how many followers they have. In fact, in my agency, we will DM brands that have 20, 30, 50 followers, and they can become clients because those are the businesses that really need it the most, the ones that have no following base. So that's the first point I wanted to mention. This makes your outreach a lot easier because you have to spend less time filtering and qualifying, and you can essentially go with a more quantity approach. You can message more businesses in the same time each day. Awesome. Now, that is outreach. That's the main thing I wanted to cover. Point number two, area number two is sales. Okay, so outreach is way easier when you have a social media agency. And in my opinion, sales is easier too. And I am saying this from experience. When I was a freelance I pitched funnel building and Facebook ads. And as an agency owner, I didn't do that. And I've had much, much better results. The biggest reason why I believe that it's much easier to pitch social media management and content creation to a business owner, firstly, is price. Let's say your service fee is 1000 per month. When you're pitching social media management, that is the only money they pay you, right? It's a thousand for your service fee. That's it. If, however, you're pitching Facebook ads, you know that there's more costs involved, right? They got to pay you 1K plus an extra maybe 1 to 2K minimum for the ad spend. And depending on where they're based, they may have to pay VAT on that as well because Facebook usually charges VAT, again, depending on where your, your, your business is based. So a simple 1K a month client is probably a minimum of 2.2K, which is 1K service fee, 1K ad spend plus 200 VAT, which is a rough, a rough percentage of 20%. And that can obviously go way higher and the ad spend will likely go higher if the results are good. So my point being is that your price is usually a lot higher. You only get 1K, but you're actually telling the business owner, hey, you need close to 2.5K just to work with me before I've gotten you any results. Before I've proved myself to you, you got to fork out 2.5k with social media management they could get two and a half full months for the same amount of money now of course when you're pitching ads you have the added bonus of you know adding in a commission structure saying hey we'll take x percentage of your sales or return on ad spend but all in all from experience it's much easier to pitch social media because of that huge price difference also a final point on sales is that if you're speaking to a business again let's just assume that they've only got 100 200 followers in my opinion pitching them facebook ads is like the worst thing you can do right because they haven't even cracked organic social media and now you're trying to run paid advertising. Like paid advertising is literally just an amplification of what's already working in your business. In my mind, you run paid advertising when your organic is dialed in. Like let's say you're working with an online coach, right? An online fitness coach and they're making no money and they've got a thousand followers. Like why would you run ads to their business? Their business is not working. They have a thousand followers. They don't have clients. Something is extremely wrong with the business. They should be able to get at least 10 clients from that 1000 followers, which should bring them to at least one, two or three K at a minimum per month in their business. Now, of course you can run ads if you want, but there's so much more potential there on the organic. I've had clients in my agency where like we've helped them as an online coach scale up to 100k a month and they don't run any ads. They don't spend a single dollar. And oftentimes they have before and they realize that it really just wasn't worth the return they were getting. In fact, it was much easier to just, you know, buy shout outs on Instagram, get traffic back to their organic social media and convert way more people at a cheaper price. So one of my biggest pet peeves with paid advertising is that yes, of course, it's amazing. Like I absolutely love it. But like you have to have your business fundamentals packed in first. There's no point running ads if the business doesn't work because you're just going to run ads to something that's not working. It's like burning money. Cool. So we've got outreach and sales 
covered, right? In my opinion, way, way easier. And to be honest, most of the students I work with go down this route because they've seen from experience, they've tried pitching Facebook ads, they've tried pitching social media management, and they always get better results with social media management. Like I said, obviously there's exceptions, right? And I'm not hating on Facebook ads that are amazing, but it's not the only route. I want to show you that. So service delivery is where it gets complicated, let's say. There's lots of moving parts in social media management, but to be honest, in any service, there's lots of moving parts. You know, if you take paid advertising, you've got designing creatives, writing ad copy, optimizing landing pages, running the ads, targeting, and a whole other bunch of things. Pixel installation, etc., etc. Now, if you're running a social media page for someone, again, there's a lot involved, okay? So you got to break it down to make sure that you cover all the bases. So just to give you an example of what's included, you've got to write captions, you've got to generate hashtags, you've, you've got to create maybe graphics or videos for them, unless they're providing the content to you. You've got to then schedule and post the content. You probably have to post stories on their page as well. You've got to reply to comments and DMs. So there's quite a few things that you need to make sure that you're doing. Now, the key thing here is that you've got two main routes if you're trying to grow a social media management agency. Route number one is that you do everything yourself and then you hire someone who just replaces you. So let's say you sign the clients, you manage the social media, you create the content, you do everything. That's fine, okay? You'll get to a couple K a month and then you're gonna have to hire someone. When you hire someone, you know, you could just hire a social media manager, someone who will literally just replicate what you've been doing. They'll create the content, they'll write the captions, they'll post it, they'll do it all. The second route, which is the more scalable route, is to hire individual people for different stages of the process. And this is exactly what I did in my agency. Instead of hiring one social media manager, instead we would hire a graphic designer, a video editor, a copywriter, and then finally a virtual assistant to just do the basic social media management, put all the pieces together. And so there's a few reasons for that. One is it's actually cheaper and it's gonna be better for your profit margins. And two is that it's more scalable. I could have a graphic designer working on 30 clients and a copywriter working on 30 clients and a video editor working on 30 clients. So it's, it's a much more of a scalable system and it's more like a production line rather than a, you know, a boutique service where one person does everything. And this really helps scalability. Now, caveat, it obviously means you're managing more people at the start, which can be a little bit stressful, but it's better to learn it at the start when you don't have 10 clients than, you know, learning it at 10 clients because then you've got a whole lot more things going on. Another thing to note is that when you have a client that's paying you for social media management, it's really, really a good idea for you to get clear on their goal. So you need to know, are they looking for you to simply manage the social media, right? We call this a convenience service where they just want you to create content, post it, and they're not too concerned with results. They just want it to be done because they know they need it to be done because they know their customers look at their social media. Or are they going to be looking at you saying, hey, I want to gain, you know, minimum 500 followers a month and I want to get $2,000 a month extra in sales from my social media. You need to know that if that's the expectation. So setting clear expectations with your client is really imperative. Obviously, the clients that are not concerned with results and just pay for a convenient service are pretty easy to work with. I've had a few of those in my agency and like you can have those clients for 20 months and you never have any issues and they're some of the easiest projects you're ever going to work on. On the flip side, we've had some clients where like that, their expectation has always been, you know, revenue and results driven. And that's obviously a little bit harder because if we have a month where things dip, they're not going to be as happy. So if you want to learn more about running a social media management agency, and again, a, a six figure agency, not an agency with two or three clients. And to see what it looks like when you scale up to that 30, 40 and even 50K a month mark, I'm teaching this stuff in a lot more detail in my paid program. If you watch this content, you probably already know the name of that program. The link is in the description. And my student success manager, he also runs a social media and content agency. So we really know what we're doing in this space. We do have lots of students that go down the paid advertising route and we advise them on that. But our specialty is definitely content creation and social media management. Now, my friend, I hope you got some value from this video. If you want to work with me, you know what to do. If you got some value from this video, please drop a like and I will see you in the next video.